this iPhone 7 is in today because it is searching for a service despite there being no SIM card in the device and there's also no IMEI number in the about section. Switching to the microscope view, we're going to use DC power and check output voltages from the baseband PMU. We do find that one of the lines is starting normal but then dropping low. Checking the schematics, it's supposed to be a 1 volt line but it's not steady at 1 volt so we're going to blame the chip in this case. We're going to use the gravity method to let the board fall once the solder reaches melting temperature. That way we can use minimal heat because the baseband CPU is on the reverse side of the board and we don't want to flow the solder underneath that chip because it is underfilled and that could cause bridging and other issues that we don't want to deal with. Using wick and hot air we can efficiently and safely clean the pads beneath the baseband PMU and now we're ready to install the replacement chip adding flux to the board and putting the chip in place we're gonna float it in using hot air heating the general area and then focusing heat directly onto the chip and giving it a little tap watching it float back into place means that the chip is successfully installed checking that same line we now get a steady 1.1 volt and we are ready to test the phone. Putting the board into the housing and prompting to boot, we find that there's still no IMEI and it's still searching. We need to restore the device through iTunes. It's normal with baseband related errors. Once you solve the issue, you need to, in most cases, perform a restore and then, and only then, will the device start working. We can see now that it says no SIM, which is normal, and we do have the IMEI information restored successfully.